Welcome back to Latin Nation. Now up next, we have some fresh music from a real life couple. I don't know how you could be married to your creative partner. While that sounds convenient, it also sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, the Domino Saints are based in my neck of the woods, Miami, Florida, but hail from Puerto Rico, where they had been repping on the urban pop tip since 2007. Well, now the Domino Saints are ready to take bicultural beats to the next level with their new record. But don't hear it from me, hear it from them, right here on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. We're an urban pop group with obviously a heavy Latin influence. We like to do music that's both in English and in Spanish. We like to mix it up between, you know, electronic dance music and dance hall reggae and, and always add like a little bit of our Latin flow into that. Yeah, we have uh, all kinds of influences. We I mean, from salsa, like Celia Cruz, like Tolabo, to like electronic music. I think we're strongly not trying to have a classification. <laughs> Because as an artist, you kind of get bored when they put you on, under a classification. Like, when we say we're Latin urban pop, I mean, really, that's so broad that it leaves a lot of space for us to do whatever we want. And doing whatever they want includes extending their professional relationship into a personal one. Because the Domino Saints are not just a music duo, they're also a married couple. Well, the funny thing about the whole story is that we didn't even think about getting together to do a group. It was actually our family and friends. They were like, man, you guys know each other for such a long time, and you're both into music, and why don't you do something together? We're like, huh. <laughs> We have an amazing chemistry. The fact that we're on the road together, we do a lot of things together. A lot of people always say, like, well, it's probably really hard for you guys. You're always together, but at the same time, you think about it, other people that are on the road all the time by themselves. I mean, the fact that we are together is just like a little casualty, you know? It's mostly because we want to make music and we're both striving for the same dream. Dime que si, ven dímelo, enseña como baila. When we started off, it was hard for us. We were a Spanglish because when we started the group, we started in Boston. When we started off, we played these shows. It was strictly in Spanish, but then we would have all these people that were, didn't speak Spanish coming to our shows, and they were like, man, I love your sound. I love your music. I have no idea what you're saying. So then that's what we felt like, we don't want to leave anybody out. So that's when we started like putting like little English phrases here and there. And then that's where we, we started getting like, you know, getting more in touch with our urban side. Oh, it's been really good. Like for example, an artist like Pitbull, who's very proud of being Latino, but he's also very proud of being an American. I think that in a sense has, has broken through and there's enough of us now. So I said, come every girl, let me show you my crown. I'm telling you girl, I'm the king of this town. I've never been down, yo. What? Teaching the haters to deal with myself. People always ask us, like, you know, what's it like being an artist or what's it like getting to your dream? How would I say this? Like, the dream is the journey itself, you know? It's not like, like people think that, you know, their goal in life is to have a mansion and have a huge bank account. And then what, you know? Like, the dream is actually all the things you go through every day to get to your dream. That's actually it. That's what really matters, the journey itself. Oh, 